Okay, so here's how I do a screenshot for iRacing. Uh, what I like to do first is press Ctrl J and make a secondary layer of the background. So what I do now is you grab your lasso tool, make sure it's a polygonal lasso tool. Just press L and that brings it up. You just zoom in on the car and just start cutting it out. Now, this is what takes the most time doing a screenshot. Everything else is pretty easy. And once you get the hang of it, it does not take long at all. But once, if you spend a lot of time doing this, this is where you can sort of read the rewards. So all you need to do is just go around there. If you do make a mistake like that, just press Control Z. Oh no, sorry, delete. Press delete, and that cuts back the previous line that you made. So just keep on going around the car. Just keep on cutting out. Obviously the closer you get to the line the better it is. But don't try and cut too much off it. Otherwise it won't work. Just make it look crappy. Go around the mirror. Whoops. See, see I made a mistake there. Just press delete. Cuts out that. You can just go closer. Now I'm just using a mouse. If you use a, one of those touch pen things it's probably going to be better. But it's fine. So just keep on going around and around. I'm almost done. Up to the aerials. Then around. Now, it's where the fun bit happens. All right. So you think you're done, all done. The car's all cut out, but you see this little bit here? You need to cut this out. So just press Alt, bring up the secondary one click and that cuts it out that takes away from the selection which is what you need there's also one here that you have to do so press hold again and take away from that selection as well so press Z to zoom out 100% and have a look around now as you can see all the cars cut out there's no little there's no little gaps or anything that you can see the road in or the scenery in the background so that's good so what I'll do is I'll do the 215 car and I'll be back. Alright, so cutting out the 215 car, um, because it is second to this first selection, you have to press shift to bring up the add a selection tool. Well, the add selection from that tool, and then you just go around and do the exact same thing as before. Go around and cut the car out. make sure you get all the little road bits that come through the windows. Okay, so we're here. Both of the cars have been cut out. Again, make sure to get out all these little excess little bits where the road can be seen. Here's where the fun part happens. Make sure you select your second layer you've made. Press L to bring up the tool again. Right click, go layer by cut. That's what you need, layer by cut. So click on that. So now what this happens is it cuts that selection out of your background. If we get rid of that, you can see it leaves a transparent area, which is what we want. So what I do now is let the motion blur. So zoom out a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Now you go up to filter, or filter, blur, motion blur. Now this is all personal preference of what looks good, but you generally want to try and find which way the cars are going and which way the camera would be panning. So camera's probably going to be going this way a bit, no, maybe not. Or I try and find a line that's that's pretty straight like that and make that straight because it makes it look pretty big. But what I'm going to do is just drop the drop the blur down a little bit so it's not overpowering. And that would be pretty pretty good. So you go, okay. That's that. So you cut the car out and make a blur. Now if we do that we'll see now there's a halo effect around the cars. To get rid of that, all you need to do is press Ctrl J about five or six times. 
and it gets rid of most of that. Now what you can do is come over to your layers over here, select them all, but the background one and press Control E. And that gets rid of that. So it combines them. So if you want, you could just leave it like this, but I like to do a bit of editing just be just to make it look a bit better. Is come in, select your car, copy, come in and see all these little pixels. Now, but depending on computer settings and uh, all that sort of stuff, you might not have them. But what I do is grab the brush tool, press Alt, find the closest color to what you want to get rid of, and then come along. So you just click there, hold down Shift to make straight lines, and just drag it all the way up. Now I'm just get rid rid of the jaggies if you want to call them that but if you look at that that just sort of cleans it up a little bit which makes it look good now just go around the cars and do the same thing on both of them and yeah, whatever they need sometimes around the headlights or now one thing in my opinion I don't like the Holden logo I think it's too blue that's just me so I grab the Eclipse tool go around it make sure you select all of it Then we'll jump onto the next car and do the same thing there. Oops. Make sure you select all of it again. This tool's not the best for that, but we get it. Zoom back out, and I'm going to desaturate it. Just get rid of all that blue. I believe it's too blue, but that's just me. So you go Control U, bring up the hue and saturation bar, grab the saturation, drag it down a few until it looks a bit more natural negative 36 which is fine I then generally grab the dodge tool and just sort of go over it a few times just bring out those highlights a bit deselect and then that's it I generally crop it as well running three screens here it's pretty good for that sort of stuff so crop it to that that's a good good little area to work in grab the second layer Press Control M to bring up the curves. Make it like a little S. So make the highlights pop, the darks be darker than that. One thing, this will only work on the background because you remember we cut out the car. So you see the difference? So then we go to the cars, do the same thing, Control M. Make the blacks pop, the highlights pop. that now you can leave it like that that is a good screenshot and to highlight a sponsor that is what you want it's something I've been working on with Jared as well is progressive blur so what I do is jump up to filter blur motion blur we obviously don't want too much so drop it down to 10 that's all right and we're gonna make another copy a few more copies of the car Jump up to filter, blur, motion blur, drag that down to about 5, and then do the same on the next one and drag that down to say 2. So now we've got three layers with all different tip blurs in them. Go up to the first one, get your eraser tool, slowly start erasing it. So obviously the first car is going to be more in focus compared to the pre. Uh, car in the rear but that's okay and obviously the rear of that car is going to be pretty out of focus which is what we want you go to the next one do the same thing so what you're doing is you're just moving moving all the blur from the front of the car where it will be in focus right, that looks pretty good so we zoom out and see what that looks like so obviously that car is going to be a bit out of focus because it's behind the lead car. That car, the front of this car is going to be more in focus. Let's make sure you get rid of the next layer as well. What you do is you just grab all those copies, press Control E to consolidate it. Let's say you do a screenshot. You then export it, upload it to where it needs to be, and away you go.